Hello YouTubers, Sonic Ox here. Today is Monday, December 5th, 2022. And uh, today I want to do a quick comparison video uh, because folks have been asking for it. Uh, just comparing the sound level between the uh, preamp and the uh, power amp without the preamp. Um, all the disclaimers apply about sound uh, that you're receiving uh, through YouTube. Uh, I'm going to do a piece of my own music, so I, I hope you don't get too bored with it, but it'll at least give you an idea of the uh, added gain from the preamp stage. I'm using my little Vivitar camera, which I like the video of just fine, but <clears throat> I hate the audio recording that it gives. So I'm using a little Olympus uh, digital audio recorder. I just turned them on at the same time, so hopefully uh, it'll match up okay. I'm going to do it all in one shot. Here's the, here's the little Olympus. Uh, I'm sure we're all familiar with them. I've had it for years and it's just really easy to record audio. <clears throat> and it has a little uh, USB slot that you can put it directly into your computer. And then when I get the sound going, I'll, uh, I'll hold it up to the speakers too so that you can hear hopefully hear the difference in level uh, and you might hear the crackle um, I'm starting cold here so uh, I'll let it all warm up and you can see for a few minutes and you know we might hear the crackle in that left channel that I've been dealing with so I'll turn on the iPod and find uh, a piece of music that doesn't have copyright issues. Uh, let's see. Right now you might be able to hear the washing machine in the background. It's laundry day. Uh, I'm just going through the iPod. I've got thousands and thousands of songs on here, so just let me do it by alphabetical and see. I should have done this before. I didn't think about it. Sorry to take up your time that way. Hmm. I don't want to pause here because the video really won't uh, match up. Let me just see if I can find something. I wanted to do it from the iPod instead of the computer and just, you know, use some of uh, YouTube's music, but uh, this is the way I use this amp, so I wanted you to s at least see that. It'll just take a second. I had it the other day. Let's 
kick these on too so that you can maybe hear the crackle. Power on to the tube amp and power on to the preamp. Turn the light down and you can see the tubes warm up. Okay, you can hear the a little bit of 60 cycle hum. And you'll probably hear that crackle in a minute or two as the channels warm up. And here we've got a, a couple songs we can use. But I'm going to let these heat up a minute, see if you can hear the crackle. You can hear the 60 cycle hum just faintly. I'll put the microphone closer. And that's just really common 60 cycle hum from the transformers. And uh, it's barely audible and is really common in these type of amplifiers and it actually uh, the hum went away it, it, it actually improved a great deal when I put the transformers on the rubber grommet okay so there's the uh, there's the crackle on startup like I say it's just the left side so whenever I hear it for the next little while I'll hold the hold the microphone up to it now that'll probably go away when I put new tubes in this amp um, but I'm not sure of that because no matter the order of the tubes um, the crackle is always on the left side and you'll notice if I tap the enclosure it's not just one tube that uh, that that influences the crackle it's all of them including just the enclosure itself so uh, I'm not sure that that's not just normal with you know old style amplifiers so anyway, that's probably warmed up just fine. So I'll, I'll put on a piece of music and mess with these knobs just so you can see what it does. Thank you. 
Now that level right there is about where I like to listen to it out here, unless I'm way away from the system. And uh, previously, before the preamp, I'd have to have this knob do about 12 o'clock uh, in order to hear the distortion. Uh, and now, if I, uh, if I have the preamp all the way up, I start to hear distortion uh, at about nine or 10 o'clock. So I can adjust both of those knobs and uh, pull in a level that sounds really good to my ear. And that's, that's what's important to me. Uh, I don't know really if there was a, an improvement in sound quality uh, with the uh, addition of the preamp. I don't really think so. I, I, can't, I can't really detect a, uh, an improvement in quality, but uh, uh, there is definitely an improvement in quality at a higher level meaning I can I can play it louder with less distortion uh, with the with the preamp so I haven't really done scientific measurements on this I don't have oscilloscope I don't uh, you know I don't have good uh, testing instruments or software so I'm just kind of doing this by ear and uh, I think I'm going to keep that preamp. It, it, it sounds pretty good to me. So uh, hopefully this video uh, works out. I'll go uh, edit it right now and, and see if it does. But that's, that's just a, a quick video showing the difference in audio level volume uh, using the preamp and without the, the preamp. All right, so I hope you all are well, and uh, I'm enjoying your videos also, and uh, I hope you all have a good day. Ox out. Hey, P.S., uh, just because my friend Alessa Fun was interested. Uh, this is the old uh, Harley. Uh, Lessafun is a fellow motorcycle enthusiast and uh, he was inquiring about this bike because uh, he saw it on one of the amp build videos. So this is a 2006 uh, Harley Davidson uh, Road King and this is the uh, last year that they built the Evo 88 cubic inch. What is that for you metric guys? 1250 or so uh, CC. Anyway, this is the last year of the Evo 88 uh, paired with the five speed manual transmission. Uh, I bought it new and uh, Mrs. Ox and I have put a lot of miles on it. It's a it's a great old bike. The uh, it's the most comfortable motorcycle I've ever ridden. Uh, grew up on dirt bikes and had my sport bike phase with a 900 cc Ninja uh, 1986 model, and uh, glad I lived through it got rid of it and now all the cycling we do is on this uh, you know it's no rocket ship but it doesn't hurt for power it uh, it carries the wife and I just fine on our adventures so there's that we've got I think a little over 20,000 miles on it and uh, it's run like a top 
never never leaked or uh, used a drop of oil uh, starts every time it's uh, it's just a great great bike of course here's Sage with her ever-present ball she thinks we came out here to go throw the ball so I guess we'll do that anyway thanks again for watching hope you guys are all well ox out